It is Friday night. It is 9.25 p.m. I say that because this video that I'm about to show you a clip of has been removed off of every channel it's been posted to in the last 24 hours. The video is from residents in St. Louis, Missouri with large heavy armored vehicles driven by the U.S. Army by the hundreds. I've now talked to sources up there, but it's also on the news, are driving all over the city. The Army says the public in this newscast cannot be trusted to know why they're doing it. And the media says they can't tell you where the giant armored vehicles, they call them tanks, are parked. Now remember, I've been to urban warfare drill after urban warfare drill for a very long time, warning you that they're training to take the American people on. People are like, well, why do we care if troops are on the streets? Well, that happens in Guatemala and North Korea. The government is supposed to serve the people. In the days of Julius Caesar, 2,000 plus years ago, if they used the military on domestic groups, it was treason. Hitler used the military against his people. That's the point. And this video is getting pulled everywhere. I'm going to just play part of it. And I gave you the time so that when you go to Infowars.com, if it's been pulled from even the news website that we have embedded, that some of this at least is on record. But here it is. It has its own little glitches when you play it. Good evening. It's a military mission in North St. Louis. Heavily armored vehicles are rolling into town, and while they come in peace, there are all kinds of rumors about why they are here. News Shuttle Vibes, Casey Nolan is live somewhere in St. Charles County, where he got an up-close look at the military vehicles. Casey? Yeah, Mike, in order to get that up-close look, we've agreed not to say exactly where in St. Charles County we are tonight and where these vehicles will be parked overnight. The Army... Yeah, you can't let your enemy and the American people know where your vehicles are parked, and I've seen this over and over again. We were at the G20 and tried to cover it, went to the military and just asked them why they were violating Posse Comitatus, and the police came after Rob Dew and my other reporters and said, we've been told you tried to attack the military with bombs. And I called the police up on air, and you heard them on air admit it. I called their captain up. Then they arrested Dew. Rob Dew, here it is. He doesn't want that information to be made public for security reasons, but we can tell you what... Yeah, you don't, you don't let your enemy, the American people, because the military now works for the foreign banks. And most of the military is waking up to this, but why are they getting ready for martial law? Why are they having drills everywhere? And again, ladies and gentlemen, at the bottom of this article, we have link after link. The local media is ignorant. They just collaborate because they're ignorant. The public is upset about it, but others are lining up and saluting the troops as they drive around with machine guns. It's all acclimating and getting everybody ready. By the way, it's not just my opinion, even though I was right about this before it was announced. Here's the article published in the Council on Foreign Relations with the Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army, General Raymond T. Oderno, saying we're going to transform things as the economy collapses and put armed troops in every U.S. city, airstrikes, armed brigades, 4,000 plus troops in every city to be your local government. You think I'm joking? Just go to the article at CFR.com. And their publication's called Foreign Affairs, so foreignaffairs.com has it too. U.S. Army in a time of transition, building a flexible force. And they say, oh, the Fed's job is occupying your cities, like reconstruction after the Civil War. And by the way, I got footage of this in, multiple, in, in, in Alabama and Maryland in the late 90s, back when it was embryonic form. Boy Scouts training to go say what guns their parents had when the Marines and Army came to town to do drills. It's in, it's online, free online, my film, Police Day 2000. Here it is, many years later, this is 2009, saying they're training to fight terrorists and more. Their main target is disgruntled veterans. And it goes on, a disgruntled Iraq war veteran. And it has photos of how they engage in the mock killing. So there is the globalist admitting they're doing it. Here's our article about it. Here's the other article that has the video of it. And they're doing drills all 
over the country with your local police, with drones. You saw the military confiscate guns in Katrina from high and dry areas. This is the plan because foreign criminal banks run by people like Bernie Madoff and Kinley took over America. And they need to acclimate and get everybody used to, oh yeah, the military is taking over, the military is running drills, or the military assists local police, or the military. We found out in federal warrant service now they're using armed military and police uniforms. That's mainstream news. Totally illegal. Uh, I mean, all of this is now coming out. And I just hope that everybody will get this article out to their friends and family. And I hope the military will speak out and say no. Most of the military I talk to are waking up and know this is happening. But it's all in this article. All the links to the full story. A lot of police know what's happening, but they just want their paycheck. They're doing this because they're getting ready to take all your pension funds and, and devalue the dollar. They're using the military in Greece and Spain right now. This is a bankster coup. Military, you work for the American people. It's okay if the American people know where your tanks are parked. Know you've been trained where the enemy. Come on. Just like Romanians standing up against Ceausescu. It's time to wake up. We'll cover this more Sunday on the radio, 4 to 6 p.m. Central and on the Monday show coming up in the nightly news. But, hey, folks, I told you so, and I'm not pleased that I've been proven right. I'm very depressed about this. I'm not pleased at all. I wish this wasn't happening, but we're the enemy. We can't be told where the tanks are parked, and there's military in here threatening the public. You better be safe. You better stand back. Don't ask questions. Don't take photos because you're insurgents. They, they say the number one insurgent threat is conservatives and libertarians, not al-Qaeda. The globalists publicly fund to take over Libya and Syria. Look it up. This is how they took over, folks. Foreign interest, foreign banking, corporate takeover. And they want to use the military to suppress us so that we can't stop their takeover. Because if we do stop their takeover, they're all going to go to jail. So the globalists are all in. They're committed. We've got to commit to freedom. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com.